What's going on guys, my name is Sebastian, this is Resell Junkie. If you're new here, my wife and I, we sell you stuff online and we teach others how to do it. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through my process exactly of how I list used items for sale on eBay. Now I've already made a video, a step-by-step -step on how to go through your first eBay listing. This is gonna be a little bit different. If you wanna watch that video, I'll link it up below, but this is gonna be drastically different because I'm gonna show you how I actually do this. The other video is more of a beginner's guide. This is gonna be more for someone that is doing more volume and wants to invest in a listing template and set up a real process. Guys, before I share all these secrets and tips and tricks, if you do end up liking this video, if you hit that like button, it really, really helps us grow and helps more people see this. And then if you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and press the little bell as well to be notified of new videos if you're interested in eBay, making money, and general hustling stuff. But all that said, let's get into this. All right, so the point of this is gonna be to show you how a six-figure seller does listings really, really fast. I want you guys to be so proficient in this that it takes you about a minute per listing. And with this process, you can get to that point. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you my spreadsheet that I use and also my listing template for eBay that I use for pretty much every single item that I list. Now, I'm mostly a clothing seller, so having listing templates for me is just really, really easy. I don't have to change a bunch of things. We're gonna talk about this item today. It's a CC Filson vest. I haven't listed it because I was gonna save it for you guys but I already have all the details put out in the spreadsheet. By the way, if you wanna grab this spreadsheet, I'll put it in the description below so you can download it and all that good stuff, but let's just cover what this is actually all about. The item name is gonna be the item title. So CC Filson Hunting Vest Men's Size XL Brown Khaki. We could probably put in a couple more things, but honestly, at this point, it doesn't matter. It already has pretty much all the relevant information that anyone would need. Cost is gonna be what I paid for it. So for this vest, I paid $7.65 for. Measure is gonna be whatever this item measures as. So pants are different than tops, obviously. I don't break it down any different way. I just know what is what. But for this, it would be 24 inches pit to pit and then 24 and a half inches from the bottom of collar to the hem. Description. You can see this is blank and you'll see why on the listing template. But this, I only fill out if there's something to note of this. Like if there's a stain, if there's some damage or something like that, I would note it on there. But if there's nothing wrong, I won't write anything there. And again, we'll cover that in a second. The weight, you can't see this here, but this says weight. When our virtual assistant goes to create shipping labels, he needs this information to actually print them out and all that good stuff. And then also when I create my own shipping labels, just so I don't have to go back in and waste stuff later on, I do this when I first check items in. It works really well for me. I feel like it speeds up the process quite a bit. So that's why that's there. Custom SKU. So this, I'll again show you guys here in a second on the template. But what this does is actually gets the cost and it also gets the weight. And then there's also a line here, a category line for my storage location. Now I'm not using that right now for several reasons, but eventually in the custom SKU, the bin location where the item is stored would be in that as well. For this point, I just updated later on in eBay, but we used to just uh, inventory things as we went. We don't do that anymore. So yeah, that's what the custom SKU is for. And then over here in the instructions, if there's something special I need to note to my uh, virtual assistant, I'll leave it there. But for the most part, I don't use anything there. So we have this now. This is great. How does this transfer into an eBay listing? Well, let's show you that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into eBay, we're gonna go into listings, and we're gonna create a listing. A lot of this may be really basic for you guys, especially if you've been selling for a long time. Um, if you have been selling for a long time, maybe there is some tips and tricks you can still pick up from the process as far as expediting this. Because guys, I've said it before, the more time you spend doing things like this, the less money you're actually making. This shouldn't be a joke to you, this shouldn't be something that you're spending five minutes per listing doing. That's not okay, that's not right, you need to get fast at it. If a listing's taking you more than two minutes, let's work on it, there's something wrong, it should not be that hard for you to do a listing. Let's do this. Under listing templates, I'm just gonna select this main template because that's what we use for our business. Now you can have several different templates, you can have ones for pants, you can have ones for tops, break it down however you want, but we just have it like this. So in the title description, you're gonna see some things that are filled out here already, and again, this is for my virtual assistant, just as guidelines and rules to remember. So in the title I have here, please make sure photo matches title. Do not use subtitle and input the custom SKU. What I'm telling him here is do not use this subtitle feature because it's a waste of money. And then to input the custom SKU is what we talked about before, and that goes right here. 
So what we're gonna do is I actually, I'm gonna open this up in a new window because on a Mac, you could just swipe three fingers over and it goes to the next window, so it makes it super fast, right? So like that, I know Windows is the same thing. Learn how to do that on your computer because it makes the process a lot faster. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna grab the title. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna paste it. I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna grab the custom SKU. I'm gonna paste that. I'm gonna select change category. We know that this is a vest, so we're gonna select that. Now we're gonna go here, add photos. I already had a thing right here. These are my photos right here. Boom, we're gonna add those. And there's an image error because I sent them from my phone and I didn't. Okay, well that sucks. When you sometimes airdrop things from the iPhone to the Mac, if they're higher quality, they'll save as a high efficient image thing, HEI. Long story short, this is just technical error on my part. I should check this out before. Just upload your photos as normal. You shouldn't have any issues there. What we see here is all these things are automatically predetermined, but this is wrong. This is actually CC Filson. We're gonna input vest here, and then this is an XL. So there we go, we have that. A lot of the times this will pre-fill in most of the information, but you will have to add some things. So that part's done. We're gonna scroll down, we're gonna avoid all of that. Now, the item description. This is when you can kind of have a little bit more fun and add your own policies and your own twist to it. Now again, a lot of this stuff is for my virtual assistant. Item description here. If no description, put good use shape with no major wear or damage. Remember how on the spreadsheet I was telling you guys about like how I don't fill this out? It's because 99% of my listings just have this as the item description. Good shape with no major wear or damage. I do not go any deeper than that. I do not tell a story about my item. If this is not good enough for you, if my feedback's not good enough for you, and if the photos aren't good enough for you, don't buy my item, go somewhere else, I don't care. That's my general point of view on it. Now, measurements, this again is for Loretto. Insert number is inches, tops and bottoms have different measurement formats. And then you can see below that for tops use this, for bottoms use this. So we know that this is a top, so we're actually just gonna go in here, delete all of this, and pit to pit, we know that it's 24, and from bottom of collar to hem is 24.5. So we have that. Then down here you have some uh, stuff about our business. We do not take returns. We only try to buy items in good use shape, but some items may have minor wear marks like that because they are used clothing. So just note whatever you want people to know. These things are really important to have in your description, but again, don't write an essay, don't write a million different business policies because no one cares. It will not protect your business that much, so do not go overboard with this stuff. Just a few lines, maybe one paragraph like I have here, and that's it. Do not go crazy. So going down to pricing, uh, let's say we're gonna list this for 45 bucks. We have that there. Now, the weight, we know it's 10 ounces, so this is already selected for first class. We're just gonna go in here and put in 10 ounces. Anything that's first class under 16 ounces, you don't have to put the dimensions in so it saves you even more time. Now I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna press list item, and that's it. Like guys, seriously, that is not that hard. And if I wasn't stopping to explain this to you, this would have taken me about 45 seconds to list. I've timed myself several times. My average is between 45 seconds and a minute and 20 seconds, depending on how fast my internet loads and things like that. But for the most part, really, this should not be that hard. It should not take you that long. And if you're overthinking this, then again, maybe we need to take a step back and see how we can maybe upgrade your technical skills or your confidence with your products or your process in general. Having this spreadsheet system works really, really well for me, just copy and pasting things. You need to find something like that that works for you, that works for your system, and that works for the items that you're selling. Pretty much when I get something home, pretend this just came from the thrift store. I'll get it home. I'll pop the tags off, I'll average the price out of everything that I bought, and then I'll go in here in this spreadsheet and just start filling things out. This is the first step of my process. The great thing about this is when this is done and the photos are done, I can just do listings wherever. Like, it doesn't matter. I could just go back to this whenever I'm bored, whenever I have a couple minutes, and I could just go and just do five, 10 listings at a time. It just makes it so much simpler. So I want you guys to think about this. I want you to have something like this set up for yourself especially if you're always selling the same repetitive products and you're always typing the same things into your item descriptions or whatnot. So just find something that works for you, make it as fast as possible because again, time is money. The faster you do this, the more free time you have and the more money you're gonna make at the end of the day. That's it. 
I know this is a little bit fast, but that was the point of it. It's supposed to be fast. It's supposed to not be that hard for you guys to understand. Hope this helped. If it did, smash that like button, make people see this, help us go viral, make us millions of dollars, all that good stuff. And again, if you're new here, you like tips like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's become best friends. Until next time, my name's Sebastian. Cheers.